Hi everyone, it's Sarah Todd. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very exciting day because it is my seven year anniversary of meeting One Direction for my Make-A-Wish trip. I seriously cannot believe that I met them seven years ago. I feel like that time has gone so fast, but this was literally one of the best things that I've ever gotten to do in my life. It was so fun, such an amazing experience, and I love talking about my wish story of meeting One Direction. So I'm going to share with you all what my wish experience was like, what the boys were like, and all of the amazing things that happened after my wish, because Harry Styles is such an angel and loves to make wish kids happy. I have a lot of cute pictures to share with you all, some never before seen pictures of the One Direction guys, and I might even put a video snippet of my wish in there as well, so this is going to be a very exciting video. So if you're not aware of what Make-A-Wish is, the Make-A-Wish Foundation grants wishes to children with critical illnesses, and when I received my wish, I was 12 years old, and my wish was to meet One Direction. So they were amazing and they granted my wish. And on August 17th, 2014, I got to meet One Direction and see their concert. And the whole experience was amazing. I had the time of my life. And basically how everything happened was I put my request in for my wish a few months before it happened. And then the wish coordinators came to my house and they asked me what I wanted for my wish and we talked about it and I told them about my wish to meet One Direction. And then a few months later, they surprised me with my wish and we had a whole party and we played One Direction music. They gave me some gifts and it was just so fun. And they told me at that party that the next day I was going to be flying to Detroit to meet One Direction and I got to take my best friend with me. So my mom and I, along with my best friend and her mom, went to Detroit the very next day and we stayed at a super nice hotel and that day we hung out at the pool and did a little bit of exploring around Detroit. We went to the mall and stuff and then the next day we got to meet One Direction and go to their concert and we got to go in a limo. <laughs> so our limo driver picked us up and he took us to the venue and it was so funny because on the way there everyone thought that we were One Direction. Like when we were outside the venue which was Ford Field it was obvious that people were staring and pointing at our limo and they thought it was One Direction, which was so funny. So it was kind of cool to feel like famous. Everyone thought we were One Direction. And then we got to the venue and we picked up our tickets, which were very good. We had floor seats, which was incredible. We were so close. And then we went inside, we got some merch, we picked up some shirts and then hung out and then five seconds of summer who i loved was the opening act so we watched most of them but then during their act someone from one direction's team came and took us backstage and it was so funny when we were walking backstage because you could tell that all of the other fans were staring at us like oh my gosh why do they get to go backstage and we went backstage and then we actually had to wait for a while backstage. We had to wait for like an hour. And during that time, I actually saw Louis walking down the hall. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's Louis. And he was walking the other way, like he didn't see us. But I was like, oh my gosh, that's Louis. I was freaking out. And then they finally let us in the room where we were going to meet them. And we stood in there for a bit. And then all of the boys came in, but they didn't come in at the same time. So I remember Harry came in last, but I think Louie and Zayn walked in together and then Liam and Niall walked in together and then Harry walked in last. I'm pretty sure that was the order. I know for sure Harry was last. And I was standing right by the door and when Harry walked in, he kind of knelt down a little bit and waved and I was like, oh my gosh, Harry, I love you. <laughs> I, 12 year old me was freaking out. And 
yeah, then we got to meet them. And so at the time, I had written and published my very first book about my journey with my physical disability. And I've since written two more, but at the time I just had the first one and I really wanted them to have my book. So I gave them my book and here's a picture of me with them. <laughs> and as you can see, Harry is holding my book and making a very enthusiastic face while the others are standing next to me. And this was so incredible because Harry was like really impressed with the book. And when I handed the book to him and told him that I wrote it, he was like, amazing. And he seemed pretty impressed with it. They all seemed very interested in the book. And I just thought it was super cute how Harry posed with it. And before we took the group photo, he, he was like, I'm gonna hold the book and then posed holding the book. And it was just super cute. You can tell that he just really wants to make people happy. And he did just that that day but they were all super nice. So basically when I went up to meet them, the wish coordinator told them my name and then I got to hug all of them and say hi to all of them. And then Harry was the last one that I got to talk to because he was at the end. So that's why I just decided to hand him the book. And then they all just kind of looked at it, talked about it for a little bit, and then we took our picture. And after the picture, I was like, okay, I really want to hug Harry again. Do I tell him I love him? I was like thinking about this in my head in the span of like a few seconds. And I was like so much shorter than him because I'm so short and I was 12 and he was 20. And which by the way, it's really weird thinking about how he was 20 back then because I will literally be 20 in two months. And that's like so young. And back then I thought that he was so old. But anyway, I like looked at his chest cause that's kind of where I was eye level to. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna hug him again. And he was like looking down at me, like smiling. And I just dove in for another hug and I was like, I love you. And then he said, I love you more. And I was like, oh my gosh. And after my wish, I repeated, I love you more for like a few days. Like I could not get over it. <laughs> and that's how that went, it was amazing. And then they signed my shirt for me that I bought at the concert. So that was really cool. And this might sound a little weird, but that shirt literally smelled like them for months afterwards. Like, I smelled the shirt, of course, because I'm a fangirl. Literally smelled like their cologne. Could not get over it. <laughs> and yeah, so that was super cool. And then they all said goodbye and they were so sweet. They're like, enjoy the show. And then we were escorted by one of their team members back to our seats and then we watched the show and the show was amazing anyway but what made it even more amazing was harry recognized me in the crowd during the show and this is kind of embarrassing but niall was singing at the time so i was looking at niall but harry had noticed me in the crowd and was waving to me and my wish coordinator tapped me on the shoulder and was like, look at Harry, he's waving at you. And then I looked over at him and waved back. And then he finally stopped waving because he realized that I'd finally noticed. So kind of embarrassing that I didn't notice that he was waving to me right away, but he wasn't singing and the stage was big. And I was looking at Niall because Niall was singing. But anyway, I saw eventually, so that's what matters. So that was so amazing. Like I was shook that he was able to spot me in the crowd and that he took the time to do that and waved to me after my wish. And that was only the same night and I was impressed, but this gets even better. So basically I then saw One Direction again two weeks later <laughs> because I was visiting my best friend in Chicago and they were in Chicago at that time. So I had to see them. And we were on the floor again, really close to the stage and Harry recognized me again and waved at me and it was so so funny because actually when he waved at me he got like distracted and ended up tripping over the light on the stage <laughs> poor harry but yeah he waved at me again recognized me did like thumbs up peace signs it was so cute and then two months after my wish i saw one direction in my hometown yes i see one direction a lot <laughs> and this was a pretty long time after my wish it had been two whole months and Harry recognized me in the crowd again, and he waved at me, did thumbs up, peace signs, everything. It was so cool. And here's a picture from that concert where he's doing the thumbs up at me. 
and I was amazed because it had been two whole months like that's a long time but then it gets even better so nearly a year after my wish August 8th 2015 I was in Baltimore for medical appointments and my mom and I went to the One Direction concert because if we're there for medical appointments why not see One Direction while we're there right and Harry was amazing throughout this entire concert. This was nearly a year after I'd met him and he recognized me again. And I was seated by the catwalk of the stage. So they had a big main stage and then a long catwalk that connected to a mini stage. And I was on the side of the catwalk. And throughout the concert, Harry had been waving at me, doing all of his usual stuff. But then he walked all the way back to the main stage and grabbed one of their towels that are like meant for their sweat, which is kind of gross, but he grabbed one of those and then walked all the way back to me. And then he put it in his back pocket for a bit while he sang. And then when his solo was over, he grabbed it out of his pocket and he kissed it. And then he knelt down right in front of me and pointed at me. And my mom pointed at me and was like, her? And he nodded and then pointed at me again and gently tossed it to me. And my mom was able to catch it for me since I can't catch things because of my disability. And the fan behind me caught it all on video and sent it to me. So I will insert that video here. So you can see that he's bending down, pointing at me, throwing the towel. And then you can actually see me kind of at the bottom, like freaking out. So that was incredible. And then after he did that, my mom and I yelled, thank you at him. And he kept doing thumbs up and then waving and everything. And I have another video from the fan behind me from that same night, which I'll put right here. And you can see that he's singing and he's really close to me. You can see me at the bottom of the video and he stops and he waves at me and the fan behind me sent me that video as well and this was just incredible this was literally almost a year after i'd met him so i don't know how he's so good at remembering me i think that it must be because i gave him my book and that must have left an impression on him i think it must be that but it also could be that i know make a wish made a thank you book for One Direction about a month after my wish. And some of us wish kids wrote notes to put in the book. And I wrote a thank you note and put in some pictures of me with them and just some pictures of me. So he probably read that note as well. So I think it could be just the book or the book and the note really helped him to remember me. I'm not sure, but either way, what an incredible human. Like seriously, this made me so happy. And he's done it again at his solo concerts he recognizes me every time if i'm able to get close enough i have an amazing experience and in 2017 this happened i was at his solo concert and he blew kisses and waved at me and it was so incredible and some of my friends were there and i actually didn't know they were there until the concert had ended and they were at some different seats in a different location, but they came running over to me because they saw me and they were like, he was waving at you. Like we saw that happen, like he recognized you. And that was just so cool. So basically every time I'm able to get close enough, he recognizes me. And I just don't know how this man does it. Like literally incredible. And seriously, Harry didn't have to do all of this. Like the wish was for me to meet him and the other guys, but instead he decided to turn that wish into so much more and make it last for years after my wish. And that is honestly just so incredible and sweet of him. And I will forever be thankful for the kindness that he's shown me on multiple occasions. I think that he really does have deep kindness in his heart, really cares for his fans, and he just really loves making people happy. Like I could totally tell like when we were taking our picture and he said, I'm gonna hold the book. Like he just seemed all excited to make me happy. And then when he recognized me at the shows and when he gave me the towel, he just really wanted to show me that he remembered me because he knew it would make me happy. and. I think that he just really cares about other people and that just makes my heart really happy. So I'm so thankful to make a wish for this experience and to One Direction and Harry Styles for this experience. It was just so incredible. Yeah, it was just incredible. I don't know how he does it. And I've also seen Niall as a solo artist and I met him again and I showed him our picture from my Make-A-Wish and he was like, oh my gosh, 
I actually remember this. And I could tell that he wasn't just saying it. Like he had the happiest look on his face and his eyes were lighting up. Like he looked so excited. And he was like, oh my gosh, I actually remember this. I actually do. And he kept saying it over and over like he was so excited. And I gave him my second book because at that time I'd then published my second book. And he was like, oh my gosh, you have more books. That's amazing. Keep on writing. And he seemed super excited for me and he clearly has an amazing memory too. So I don't know how these guys do it, but they are just so incredible. So yeah, that was my Make-A-Wish story. I'm gonna throw in a short clip of Harry saying, I love you more right here. Oh, nice. Thank you. oh my gosh. I, I can never get over that. I just can't believe he actually said that. And I was so shook when it happened, but yeah, this has been so fun to talk about. I love talking about my Make-A-Wish. I really hope that you all enjoyed this story and loved seeing the pictures and videos I had to share. Seriously, One Direction, they're just the sweetest guys ever. They don't get enough credit for how kind they are. Like seriously, back then when I met them, Harry was 20 years old and Louis was 22 and he was the oldest. So you have 20, 21, 22 year olds being that nice. They were just like young, basically college age kids and they were super mature and really really kind and Harry's kindness will live on with me forever. He really helped me get through a dark time in my life. I was really struggling with depression from having my life changed from my medical condition in the past four years at that time. It was really difficult for me and having my wish granted really helped me get through the depression I was going through and really find happiness in my life. So I am just so, so grateful that I had that experience. And I think more people need to know how kind these guys are and all of the amazing things Harry did for me. I think it's really important that people realize he's such a great person and that deserves to be recognized more. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give this video a like, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button, and remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video of mine. Also, please do check out my social media and my Patreon and my podcast, all of that good stuff. The links for all of those things are in the description box below. I post new videos every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern and sometimes Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern. So I hope to see you at the next one. Bye everyone.